Hi, this is Pete Singer. I'm uh, here at Semicon West, and I'm talking to David Chu from Applied Materials. So David, uh, could you tell us a little bit about what your position is there uh, at Applied Materials, first of all? Sure. Well, Pete, thanks uh, for the invitation. Um, my name is David Chu. I'm the Strategic Marketing Director for the DSM Group at, at Applied Materials. Okay, wonderful. And we've been talking this week about um, inflection points in the industry and the kind of the industry going to 3D structures, FinFETs, and vertical NAND. So I wondered if you could comment on that, what you see as the kind of the big trends in the industry in that area. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely there is a big inflection sort of going on from going from 2D to 3D. We see that both in the logic devices and now we're starting to see it also in the memory devices. Now, fundamentally, if you look back in history, scaling or performance scaling has been uh, begotten by scaling physically the horizontal dimensions of the devices. The problem with that is that as you try to scale those uh, devices uh, in a horizontal direction, film thicknesses become thinner and thinner. And as those film thicknesses get thinner, then the ability for the device to perform begins to get sacrificed. So to relax that, uh, people are now uh, uh, relaxing the dimensions in horizontal and going vertical. Mm -hmm. And that's really the main driver for why people are going to go, uh, the industry's moving to 3D. Okay. So that must have a, a big impact on the kind of demands placed on the, the materials and, and the equipment that you produce. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, to kind of, uh, if I give it a little bit of scope, right, yeah, imagine, imagine a single family home, right? It, those are built with wood beams of varying dimensions, right? But if you're trying to build a skyscraper, wood doesn't work anymore. You've got to go to new materials, new designs, and new processes. Steel, concrete, instead of nails, you now use steel rivets. In much the same way, 3D now is the same thing. You go from 2D and move to 3D, you now have to have new materials, new designs, new processes. And these are big, this is a big, big inflection. It's a, it's a challenge for the materials, it's a challenge for processes, and of course a challenge for the hardware as well. Mm -hmm. So instead of the um, placing the new requirements on lithography, it's really putting the demand more on, on CVD and etch and CMP. Yes, <laughs> yes. And in fact, uh, if you, uh, uh, when we take a look at the scenario going from 2D to 3D, two things really happen for the CVD side. One is that instead of building gates in a horizontal direction, now we're tipping this thing over, rotating on 90 degrees, and now building the stacks in a vertical direction. To build those stacks, you have to have these alternating layers of deposition. These alternating layers, one would be the gate, and the other one which functions as the isolation. Because the gates are now being built vertically, the critical dimensions are now defined by deposition and not so much by the lithography. That puts a much, much more burden on the deposition side. The second thing that happens, though, is you can imagine that these stacks now grow to a very tall height. You know, it's an order of magnitude difference between what we saw in planar NAND. As a consequence, even to pattern these is a tremendous challenge now. So not only does the stack have to be very highly uniform, layer to layer has to be uniform, and then on top of that, the hard masks that are required also have to be much more, uh, much more uh, um, stronger and resilient to the patterning, uh, the edge processes to enable that pattern to maintain fidelity throughout the entire depth of, the, of, of that gate stack. So, and really, these are precision materials engineering challenges. And uh, uh, these, uh, and that really plays to Applied's uh, strength. You know, historically, we've always been very good about bringing in uh, these solutions to, to the industry, whether it be in FinFET or copper or all these different uh, various uh, inflections that we've had in the past. And so, you know, with that, uh, we believe that as we go to the three, three net inflection that we'll also have strength and be able to provide solutions to our customers. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know Applied Materials in the last three months, I think, have introduced uh, five or six products, and many of them targeting the, the 3D area, and including the CVD. I wondered if you could uh, give us a little glimpse of what those products are, are like. Sure. Well, as I mentioned before, you know, th th these new requirements for 3D NAND, because of the gate stack and the hard mask, require uh, precision materials engineering. And to that end, we have released earlier this week, or announced uh, the pre uh, precision uh, XP precision system. CBD system, and that's really designed to optimize the interplay of the different process parameters within the chamber, control the chamber environment to allow for these new requirements to build up these very tall stacks. Uh, these same things is also what helps us to 
enable the new hard masks that are going to be required to be able to pattern these films. And our position uh, right now has been you know, very strong. Uh, our chamber has received quite a bit of good adoption. In fact, our shipments uh, of the chamber have uh, grown tremendously from last year to this year. So. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you.